I just woke up at my parents' house. My sister and I slept in until 11.30 and I'm still exhausted. We didn't go to bed until like 2 a.m. or something, but it's also three hours earlier because I'm in Massachusetts. So I think I'm gonna go back to bed because I also didn't get a lot of sleep last night. But anyways, let me show you what I'm about to eat food-wise. I went downstairs and my dad had this in the oven. My dad's so sweet. He's like the chef of the house and sometimes you'll be lucky and you'll wake up in the morning and he'll, he'll have made breakfast and if it's beyond the time that he originally made it, he'll keep it warm in the oven. Mary and I are in one of my favorite stores probably one of my favorite places to visit in Massachusetts it's called Deborah's and it is such a sweet natural market with so many organic and vegan options here and uh, we just stocked up on some good groceries then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's to get the rest Being at my parents' house is proving to be a little challenging for the low histamine diet, mainly because there's just so many temptations here to eat. My parents and my sister are, they're basically pescatarian. They eat a little bit of dairy and a little bit of fish. Well, actually, they eat a good amount of fish, but they generally don't eat any meat. It's very, very rare that they'll have it. They used to be like 100% no meat, but over the years they've started like slipping it in every once in a while, I don't know why. But um, they just have all sorts of like tantalizing vegan foods around, you know. They buy a lot of vegan foods at places like Trader Joe's and they'll just have like snacks and I find myself eating them. <laughs> I don't know. Like we had the day of cheese pizza tonight and it was really nice. It actually wasn't that great, to be honest. I remember the day of pizza being better. It was just kind of like bland, I guess. Um, even though I put like extra salt and nutritional yeast on it. I don't know, it's definitely not my favorite, but the texture is really nice. It's interesting, even though I went shopping tonight and I picked up some things, I still came home feeling like I didn't get enough. The low histamine diet's super limiting. And even though I feel my best when I eat that way, it's just kind of emotionally limiting to me and, and a little bit frustrating. I feel like I'm missing out. Sometimes I'm just like, screw it. I'm gonna have some chocolate, as you've seen, or like I'm gonna have some peanut butter or I'm gonna have whatever. And I keep trying to prevent that from happening, but it keeps happening. So definitely don't wanna stress myself out about it. Just do the best I can every day, which is what I advise everyone, progress, not perfection. And you might be able to relate that way with veganism, you know? I hear a lot of people saying that they're not 100% vegan and every once in a while they have these slip ups and I think that's okay. For me, it just feels like a bigger issue because of my food sensitivities. Although I suppose with the vegan thing, it's about the animals too. So a slip up can feel equally as, as harmful. <sighs> but that's where I'm at right now and to tomorrow's a new day. I've got lots of great foods set up in the fridge so I'm gonna work, wake up and do the best that I can and know that later this week I'm gonna be eating lots of things off the low histamine diet due to my travels. <laughs> Thanks for following along today. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is the start of the road trip so it's sure to be an exciting next couple days.